Well, it's October 2019, and a lot has changed in Johnson City since the last time I did an interview about the projects in Johnson City. I think it was three years ago. I'm in the brand new pharmacy building right now, which was completed about a year and a quarter ago, uh, the summer of 2018. It, it's fully populated now. Uh, many of the faculty are, have been hired. We have three of the four classes of Doctor of Pharmacy students enrolled. And in fact, class just let out, so you can, might see some students wandering around in the building. Uh, next year, we'll enter our fourth class, and that will give us our full cohort of about 350 to 360 students, 90 in each class. And that uh, about a year and a half from now, we'll graduate our first class of pharmacists that will go out and get great jobs and, and hope to change the world. Uh, the focus of the pharmacy school has been at a high-end pharmacist. Uh, many will go into retail, but many others will go into research, into in industrial, industrial positions. Uh, they'll also be taking jobs in, in hospitals, uh, nursing homes. So I really think that this is a, a great program that we started here, and it's exciting. Um, building off of that, though, was this was the anchor. Building off of that now is exciting because maybe right behind you might be able to see the construction progress on our School of Nursing building. Um, the Decker School of Nursing, which has been a, a great school for many years, is expanding. We are now calling it the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. It will still have the Decker name, the Decker College of Nursing and Health Sciences. Uh, it'll expand into this 130,000 square foot building behind me. Uh, 90,000 square feet of that are gonna be renovated square, square footage from an old Endicott Johnson box factory, uh, I'm sorry, shoe box factory. And uh, that will occupy all of our, be occupied by all of our nursing faculty and staff. Uh, we'll have all of our undergraduate nursing students in their third and fourth year there. But we're also gonna be adding an occupational therapy program and a physical therapy program that will be on, in that building on the fifth and sixth floors. Uh, another exciting development in that building is it will allow us to more closely partner with Upstate Medical University and their clinical campus in Binghamton. And so we're gonna be sharing one of the floors in that building with the faculty and staff and students of the Upstate Medical University who are here doing their third and fourth year rotations at the UHS hospital. It'll allow us to have a, a greater relationship with them and certainly will enhance our interprofessional education programs. Uh, between me and that nursing school that's being built behind me, there is an empty lot, and the plans for that is going to be um, uh, probably completed in the next month or so, uh, send it out for bid. We're hoping that that project will be completed in December of 2021. There will be a research and development building specifically de designed for our faculty in the School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, but it will also include an entire floor that will be available for industrial partners who will, would want to come here and help co-develop uh, active ingredients, uh, pharmaceuticals, that will be able to be uh, tested uh, and, and made commercially available, hopefully, within the next few years. And then the projects continue down Corliss Avenue. Uh, we're expanding a parking lot down there. We purchased another building where we're going to be locating a, uh, an elder care clinic. Uh, and, then, and then there's the, the big dream, which is the building at the end of Corliss Avenue on Park Street, which is where we're hoping that an industrial partner may actually want to manufacture a, an active ingredient or a pharmaceutical product in the future. So that's the, the long-term goal, the, the, the kind of the dream that I've been uh, telling people about. And it's always nice when parts of your dream come true. And the one that I'm standing in right now is, is probably the, the most important one because it was the anchor. It was the first one, very expensive building, state of the arts. And, and if you can build off of that quality and, and add, that, um, add that feature to all the buildings that we're going to be constructing, I think it'll become a great project, but also become a, a great place to live in the future. Johnson City uh, on, the, on the rebound, I think, is going to be a great place to live for our students, our faculty and staff, and all the community members that, that are in the southern tier.